Now, what are the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about? Because he says, وَيُحَيِّئْ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَمْرِكُمْ مِرْفَقَ or مَرْفِقَ Two qira'a or two ways of reciting this ayah. Allah will facilitate your path. Allah will facilitate the journey. Allah will protect you. He will take care of you. And what will happen? Your history and story will remain unindelible. Almighty will preserve your history. This is a wonder that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for these young men, this youth that had aim, vision, and mission in life. They did not sit in their own city, pointing out fingers. These people are this, these people are that, these people are misguided, this leader is this, this leader is that, as this is the method of every weak person. Because as youth, we should not always sit down criticizing the government, criticizing the leader, criticizing the king. That's not going to benefit us in anything. But if you, were you to make dua, O oh Allah, guide him, because the more he is guided, he will help out, you know, change the situation, the social, political, whatever, you know, economic that people are, you know, having or facing in the city or in the state or in the country in general. So do not say this young men, this youth are teaching us a lesson here that do not sit and point fingers and accuse. No, they said our people, they're not doing the job and we will not sit to fight them. It will not benefit. Leave and let's go find a place where we will submit to Allah. This is only praiseworthy if you know you cannot make changes where you are. If you know you have no voice where you are. If you know you will not have impact where you are, then go to a place where you will find peace. وفي الأرض من ألل كريم من الأذى وفيها لمن خاف القلا متعزل. So meaning, if you want peace and you can't find it in your spot, go to another spot. قل سيروا في الأرض. Travel this earth. Almighty will open the path for you. 